Sometimes you think, why is this not native in Blender? Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now this add-on is pretty fresh to be honest. The developer posted it on Facebook a few hours ago and it's called the Blender Auto Save Render. And it pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. Automatically saves a numbered or dated image after every render. This Blender add-on is designed to make test renders easier for reviewing, saving what would otherwise be lost when quitting the app. It's also good for showing render progression, time lapse, stuff like that. Now, I am fully aware there is other kind of add-ons out there in the market. Even the developer kind of picks up on this and pays homage to the other developers. But what you need to do here is download the autosaverender.py, install it like any other Blender add-on, and we'll take a quick look. Now, obviously the first thing that you need to do is save your Blender project, or save your Blender file. So I'm just going to hit Ctrl and S, I'm going to call it Untitled. The Blender gods are looking down on me at the moment, and I'm going to go to the Output options on the right hand side. I'll go down to Output, and underneath Output you can see here Auto Save Render. So the first thing I'm going to do is enable it. The second thing that I need to do is dictate where I would like to save these renders. So I'll open up the folder, and I've created a folder called Recycled Renders. So all the kind of junk renders will go into this folder, I'm happy with that. Now you can probably call this the project name, but untitled, not the sexiest in the world. And I'll hit accept. Now there's several different methods we could use here, for example, we can use the project name in the serial number, that's essentially an incremental save, or we can use the project name date and time, and it also has a custom string, and I'll show you that in a second. And we can save the file format, now you're probably best just saving it as a JPEG if you're doing test renders obviously, but you can also use the project settings. And all I'm going to do here is hit F12, happy with that, and generally what you'll do is you'll close this down and you'll think, ah, probably should have saved that. So if I jump into the folder, you can see here, Untitled 001. And that is pretty much the add-on. How good is that? When it comes to workflow, this is a perfect little tool. Now there is a few things we can change. Obviously we can change this to the date and time. Custom string, I'll show you what you can do here. You can put the project name, so we'll just call this the cube. You can have the render engine, the render time, and in fact, if you check the documents, there is a whole bunch of variables we could use. You can use item, the camera name for example, this is excellent if you have multiple cameras, the frame number, even the render engine, and there is a whole bunch and all you do is put these into the custom properties, and that's it, every time you hit F12, it will automatically save it in the folder for you, i.e. the cube, we're using Eevee, there's the date and time. Do me a favour guys, if you find this add-on useful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you say thank you to the developer, you know what to do, take care.